Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. I wanted to come on here and encourage you guys today because I'm reading through some of the comments and I'm talking to some of you and I'm realizing there's a lot of people down. A lot of you are saying stuff like, you know, so many people in my family, my friends, my coworkers, they're making fun of me. Even when I talk about Jesus, when I'm trying to witness to them and tell them how Jesus died for them, he was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures, which is what we're called to do as ambassadors of Christ. But even when I'm bringing that up to them, it seems like they're ignoring me, they're laughing at me, they're making weird faces. But then also when I bring up the Lord's soon return, when I talk about all the things going on around the world and what the Bible says, and I tell them that Jesus is coming soon, they laugh at me, they mock me, they scoff me. And I wanted to encourage you guys again that this is just another sign of how close we are to the Lord's soon return. In fact, when you go to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, we read, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Now, what do we see today, folks? Exactly that. You bring up the Lord's soon return. That's exactly verbatim what people are going to say. Oh, every generation has been saying Jesus is coming back. You're a fool. Just live your life. Things are going to happen the way they're supposed to happen. That is what's happening more than any other generation in human history, folks. This is happening before our eyes here, and it's happening before our eyes right now. And then in the book of Jude, when you go to verses 17 to 18, we read, But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. So if you're somebody that's discouraged, again, your family, your friends, your co-workers are making fun of you, they're laughing at you, uh, welcome to the club because we're told that's what's going to happen, especially in the last days. You bring up the Lord's soon return, all right? People are going to say, where is the promise of his coming? Every generation has been saying the Lord is coming and he hasn't come yet. Things will always happen. It's not this generation. Um, live your life, you know, stop worrying about things. And even when you bring up the gospel of their salvation and you witness to them again that Jesus died for them, he was buried, and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures, you give them the gospel of their salvation and you tell them that Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that's going to save them, yes, a majority of time they're going to make that weird face. They're going to look at you. Folks, we're all going through it. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged because we're told this would happen, especially at right we are right now in the last days. We can't save anybody, folks. As ambassadors of Christ, our job is to plant the seeds. We tell them the truth that Jesus Christ died for them, that they're sinners in need of a Savior, that they can't save themselves, that Jesus Christ did it all for them on the cross at Calvary by shedding his precious blood. And we give them the gospel of their salvation, which is, again, Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. But beyond a shadow of a doubt, folks, this is exactly what we're seeing today. Exactly what was prophesied in the Bible. This is another sign, again, that we are living in the last days and Jesus is coming soon. People are mocking. People are scoffing, just like the Bible said that it would. Do not be discouraged. Instead, be encouraged. And like we're told in Luke 21, 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Keep watching with me. Keep looking up. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he's coming. And he's coming quickly, one day very soon at the appointed time, sooner than most of us even realize. Keep watching with me. God bless you all.